In Switzerland at EPFL, scientists Stephanie Lacour and Grégoire Courtine are working on tailored, wearable neuroprosthetics of the future. Together, they are striving to translate their findings from the lab to the clinic in order to treat people with paralysis. A neuroprosthetic device is designed to communicate with the nervous system, and Lacour has engineered implantable electrodes that can bend and stretch. She achieved this by engineering elasticity into metals that are stiff. The neuroprosthesis we're developing is an implantable device that is surgically inserted at the surface of the brain or the spinal cord and physically it matches the property of the underlying tissue. We can tailor the design on demand of these devices. With this we can prevent foreign body reaction like scarring around the implant that tends to isolate the implant away from the tissue it wants to communicate with. Lacour's implants have not yet been approved for tests in humans, but studies in rodent animal models are already contributing to clinical trials that are currently underway at Lausanne's University Hospital. We are now starting a clinical trial, which is the very first step to understand the potential of the intervention we have been developing to improve recovery in people who are wheelchair bound. This clinical trial really incorporates all the key concepts and technology we have been developing, first in rodent and then in primates. For this, we had to develop tailored technologies. What we have been observing first in rat is that after a lesion of the spinal cord that induces paralysis, if we stimulate the spinal cord below the injury that normally control leg movement, we can reanimate these paralyzed muscles. This means restore walking we observed a reorganization of neuronal pathways, the reconnection between the brain and the spinal cord below the injury. All the concepts we had developed, obtained in rat were also valid for the primate spinal cord. What was also novel in primate is that we directly extracted the intended movement of the paralyzed leg from brain recordings. We send it wirelessly to the spinal cord to induce the desired movement of the paralyzed leg. Courtine's approach to paralysis research is highly unconventional. Instead of focusing on generating neural regrowth across spinal cord lesions that lead to paralysis, his approach relies on the plasticity of the nervous system, this incredible ability of the nervous system to adapt to damage. Both Lacour and Courtine are developing technology that may one day be key to helping paralyzed patients walk again. Thank <laughs> you.